Hey, my name is Marco. I'm a pro opera singer turned voice actor. The hiring process can feel overwhelming, so I use ZipRecruiter. I love talking about listening to and discussing video game music from an emotional perspective rather than a compositional one. Today we're going to be listening to Children of the Omnisaya from Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. I know nothing about this game, nothing about this series, nothing about this music, but I'm a recent convert to the Warhammer game experience thanks to Darktide, and I'm really curious and interested to hear what this sounds like. Let's go. If uh, you're new to the channel, I love organ music that is not used in a liturgical setting. That said, this feels liturgical in a lot of different ways. Also, this reminds me a lot of Interstellar, and uh, Guillaume uh, David is a fantastic composer. The way that we're playing these notes on the organ, bum, 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 rum, and then you have this choral, well, the children of the Omnissiah. That's obviously a play on the Messiah. So this is a religious group of perhaps zealots or folks that covet or believe in the faith of the Omnissiah. This to me may also be playing in their house of worship. There's a real feeling of eternity in this music. Timelessness. It's interesting. that muted quality to this really symbolizes disproportionate amount of hatred and singular belief in this Omnissiah that perhaps clouds their judgment, almost like they're converts, almost like it's a, a type of cult. There's a deep-seated sense of discomfort in this music, in the way that it's written. It's not, oh, I'm Bach, I'm very happy. And it's not like that at all. In fact, this evokes the feeling of watch your ground. Don't tread on me. Don't cross this line or you will be destroyed. There's a real sense of hidden violence that exists. But this is an interesting musical note here because we have the soprano, I hear it in my right ear, we have the soprano singing this gospel chant almost. While we have the men on this muffled quality. But right here in this ear, it's almost like there's a little clarion of that, vo that celestial voice that we understand that sopranos tend to have in opera and symphony music and symphonic literature, where there is that feeling of clarity of holiness, of faith, of religion, coming through the voice of something maybe altruistic. hear the little hints of roboticism, the mechanical deformity of the children of the Omnissiah, that they are morphed or, or turned weaponized or turned into mechanical, almost robotic instruments of of war. There's that feeling uh, in the soprano represents, because it stands out to me the most, it could also be that that soprano is there to remind the humanity that existed before the children of the Omnissiah became these followers where there was no identity, it was a singular unit 
moving forward with their belief of whatever the Omnissiah is. And maybe the, that soprano represents their humanity before it was stripped away. And I'm not, I'm not sure, but it's certainly interesting. And musically, that's, ooh. That's a stunning piece right there. There's a lot more Warhammer on the channel, actually, about four or five tracks. If you want to check those out, there's uh, links here. And as always, thanks a ton. If you want to support the channel, there's links in the About section, and I'll talk to you later.